I'm Gia Nicolaides. It's day 153 of the national lockdown. 149 more people have died after contracting COVID-19, bringing the death toll to just over 13,300. The number of active cases, people who still have the virus, is now over 79,000, and the recovery rate is still at 84%, meaning over 520,000 people have recovered so far. Now, South Africans have been reminded that spreading fake news could have dire consequences, especially during a pandemic. Many people flocked to liquor outlets on Tuesday to stock up on booze, with some ignoring social distancing protocols. The rush was prompted by a voice note that was doing the rounds, which incorrectly claimed that President Cyril Ramaphosa was going to reintroduce the alcohol ban. And South Africans will no longer be allowed behind the wheel after consuming any amount of alcohol as the Transport Department amends the law to include that drivers must measure 0.0% when tested. Currently, motorists can still drive with 0.05 grams of alcohol per 100 milliliters of their blood in their systems. Transport Minister Fakile Mbalula has set out the new guidelines under Level 2. The Minister has also clarified yesterday that international travel remained prohibited under Level 2. He said that international travel would resume once empirical evidence showed it was safe. Meanwhile, doctors at Tigerberg Hospital are using modified snorkeling masks to help them keep safe while treating COVID-19 patients. Medical staff across the country have been doing their best to protect themselves against the virus. The mask, which is usually used for snorkeling in tropical waters, covers the whole face and forms a tight seal. In the modified hospital version, the snorkel is removed and an adapter and breathing filter is added. Taking a wider look, while the coronavirus pandemic is still raging worldwide, fresh World Health Organization data indicates its pace is easing in most regions, with the biggest slowdown seen in the hard-hit Americas. The numbers for the seven-day period ending on the 23rd of August mark a 5% decrease in new COVID-19 cases globally and a 12% drop in new deaths compared to a week earlier. And Spanish actor Antonio Banderas says he was cured of the coronavirus, which he contracted several weeks ago on his 60th birthday. He told fans on Twitter that after 21 days of disciplinary confinement, he can say now that he has overcome the COVID-19 infection. For more on the pandemic, go to our website, ewn.co.za forward slash coronavirus. And remember to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel.